you're that person's eyes. So during every single run that we do, I'm constantly looking at his feet and looking the next 20 to 30 feet ahead just to make sure everything is okay. I wake up between 3.30 and 4, and then I'll head to my gym a little before 5 o'clock, training with him or someone else. The work-life balance definitely helps. So if there's moments where I have to leave a little earlier, I come in earlier. It does give you flexibility to adjust your hours and schedule so that you have an opportunity to give back. And I think that makes you a better person in general. And a better person always makes you a better employee. You get able to achieve more. In the time I've been here at MetLife, the type of work that we're doing and the nature of it, it just constantly changes. And that's the same thing with the running. In a marathon, there's 52,000 people, and they don't care that he's blind, and they don't care that we're tethered together. It becomes like an obstacle course. It takes a lot of discipline, it takes a lot of work, and very crazy hours, but guiding someone to believe in themselves to accomplish something that maybe they thought they never could. It's so much more rewarding than running a race for myself. I like that constant hustle of going further and further. This kind of lifestyle is a lot of sacrifice, but it doesn't feel like sacrifice to me because it's something I love doing. So that's a priority for me, so I'll always make time for it.